Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be trying out the weekend event Momir's Madness. So how Momir works is you don't really present the deck, you're basically just playing a bunch of lands at the beginning of each turn. You can click on the Momir token, uh, pay X mana and discard a card and create a token of any creature in the game at random with converted mana cost X. Uh, and you can only do it once a turn and at sorcery speed. So it seems like a kind of fun f uh, format. Ideally, would like to get to at least four wins, but we'll give it a shot. As we get started, for those of you who haven't done so already, if, you're look if you enjoy the content and looking for a way to show your support, if you hit that little subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner, it's a free and easy way to do so. And we'll get started. Uh, as I'm a blue player at heart, let's pay one. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got an Imperial Lancer. Okay, so opponent got a lot better upgrade than we did. Tuck in. Their Pateramander is probably better. Never actually played this format, so I don't know if it's just pure luck or some amount of strategy involved. So, Goblin Electromancer is really not going to do anything for us. So let's just attack in. Interesting, the opponents offered the trade there. Uh, actually, let's discard an island. Hackerbat. Ooh. Could be interesting. We don't have black mana, actually. Flying 2-3. So let's attack in with Hackerbat. We'll see if they block. If they do, then we'll pump it. Here, we'll just end the turn and try to bring out a 5 drop. Oh, Concave Cavalier is such a good card for them. Just leaving behind bodies. So hopefully we're rewarded with a good 5 drop. Uh Oh, cancel, cancel. Did not want to do that. Let's pay five mana here. Vampire Sovereign is fantastic. No attacks for us. We can double block the Cavalier if need be. This holds back the ex ex Exultant Sky Marcher. Nikia. It's a 5-5. Five five. Just offer the trade here. Burning Sun Avatar will deal 3 damage here. It's the biggest thing on the board, and it lets us smash in here. 
That was a really good one for us. So this format feels really much about luck and if you're on the play. I think getting an early creature out, like them sacrificing the Pateramander, seems a little odd. Also them not adding mana of every color. Uh, Mulder Hulk's fine. We have him on a two turn clock. Okay, so that gets us our swamp. Let's just use the most information possible. So it doesn't really do much in this matchup because we don't have creatures in the grave. However, this lets us trade with their two biggest creatures. I would imagine hitting like a Lyra or anything like that is just ridiculous. What are you paying mana into? Oh, actually that's really cool. So comma. <laughs> oh man. Deal three damage. Gain three life. Untap. Oh, and it's got the double. Okay, opponent. I like what you're doing. So, seven. What do we got? What do we got? Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Why would I want that? Sakama so now just like domes us for a billion. They like, gain a ton of life. They just start picking off everything on our board. So... Probably want to go 6 this time. Just gain some life, probably. Or three us. Vigilance Trample Reach. Opponent attacks in now. Seems odd they wouldn't just hit us for three. I'm not going to block the trampler anyways with it. Uh, here, let's just do six. Hope we hit like Dream Eater. Enters the battlefield. Yeah, they got us with Sakama. <laughs> okay, so new plan. Get to nine mana for Sakama. So hopefully we're on the play here. colors Let's see what we get here I like gutter buns 
It's a good mana sink later on if need be. Atonement. It's fine. We can offer the trade. Let's pass. This having two powers somewhat relevant. Let's see what we get on three. That is such a bad card. <laughs> Opponent's going for the straight mono red approach. Uh, so here, let's just put out forest. Get rid of the swamp. We are getting some terrible cards. The swamp next. You may cast instant sorceries, they'll pay their mana cost, so they too are getting burned. Let's go five here. Oh, thank you. I know what we're doing every turn. Drop down the other fours biogenic ooze each turn. So opponent needs to find something. And like I feel like these games, like I, us hitting the ooze is just ridiculous value. Five drop explore, like the disparity in terms of what we're getting. Thank you. Pass the turn. So here, we'll be at seven, so three, five, six, seven. Oh, that is scary. Ah, uh, we can throw one ooze in front of it and then sacrifice something random. and pass the turn. That's in the seven drop slot. So I think next turn, because we'll be at eight, so four, five, six, seven, eight, we can start. Oh shit. That's scary. Okay, so they have trample. So it's 10 damage, so let's offer the trade there. Block there. Uh, block. Here, block here. Why won't you block there? It's fine, just block there. Why 
I can't. So that's ten. like that. Don't know why it's not letting me block the junk trailer. So five, six, seven, eight. Okay, at least it's a big body. No attacks here. Next turn, nine, hopefully hit like Sakama. Okay, so they got to Sakama, they untap. Oh no, but it's not cast, so you don't get the untap. Likely hits a comma as well. Is that the only nine drop? Yeah. So past turn. So they have a lot of red mana where we don't, which is a little awkward. There's a 10 drop creature. Okay. So we don't have the Zakama. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go 8 drop. Let's see what we hit. Oh, all these cast triggers and nothing to do. I think they got it. Zakama, even if they want, they can just shoot this for three each turn and force us to sacrifice. Let's just do. What's your mana cost? Eight? I think that's the only way we could kind of win. No, I don't want. 
want more of those. I need a way to bounce the comma or just kill it. Creatures in standard. Let's see if we got anything. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, don't think we have anything. Just checking on gather quick. Apex of power. I think Sakama is the biggest we have. Omniscience. Alright, let's go. Eight. Let's see what we hit. Another Waking Suns. Get Colossus. What a useless. Alright. We're done here. This format's kind of cute, but it's just... There's not really that much, I think, in terms of gameplay. So we'll stop this one, and we'll come back with another... We'll try it out one more time in a separate video. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great one.